morning on this Friday, whether it's morning, afternoon or night, when you tune in, thank you. Hope your week's been okay. In the early days of lockdown, when we were sort of busy filling our days, one of the things I came across were letters that my dad had written me. He was a prolific letter writer. His mum had written to him when he had left the Highlands to come down to Glasgow to study at the university. And every week she would write him, he would write her. When I left home and went to study down in London, my dad did exactly the same every week. A letter would arrive. His writing was atrocious. <laughs> and sometimes it would take me ages to decipher a word or a sentence. But I treasured those letters. And when I moved to Edinburgh 20 years ago, my dad started writing to me again. News, views, some advice, including when Wick got its first roundabout and traffic lights. He was bemused at how the people up there coped with that. I treasured his advice and I'd miss it even still. Our passage this morning, which is part of the daily devotions today, is words of advice from an older man to a younger man, from Paul to Timothy. And they're words that are so relevant for us today. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. Let's listen to God's word. So Paul is saying, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them. Intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Saviour, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. This is the message God gave to the world at just the right time, and I have been chosen as a preacher and apostle to teach the Gentiles this message about faith and truth. I'm not exaggerating, just telling the truth. Wow. There's Paul saying to Timothy, and this is God's living word, remember. Pray for kings and all who are in authority. The Bible doesn't tell us we should like our leaders and those who govern us or our sovereigns, whether it's Trump, Boris, Nicola, or whoever. We're asked to pray for them. Ask God to help them. Intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. <laughs> when did you last give thanks for Boris Johnson, Donald Trump, Nicola Sturgeon? When did you last pray for them? When did you last ask God to help them and give them wisdom? Oh, especially in these days. It's quite a thought, isn't it? And then Paul goes on to talk about the kind of lives we should live and how it's possible. And the only way it's possible is through this man, Christ Jesus, who gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. You know, when we pray, at the end of our prayers, we very usually say, in Jesus' name. Amen. It's not magic words. It's not a passcode or a password. But it's a reminder that every time we pray, we only do so because of what Jesus did for us. And it's only through him, he's the only one that we can come to God the Father and pray with. In Jesus' name. This Jesus gave his life for everyone. Now, I have no doubt most of us who are listening and looking at this, we know this Jesus and we can say, he is mine. He is my Lord. 
But I wonder this morning if there's someone and you've been hearing about this Jesus, maybe you've heard about this Jesus before, but you cannot say he is your Jesus. What a wonderful time to be set free. <laughs> Lockdown on the outside, freedom on the inside. Forgiven and given a new life by God, by the Holy Spirit living within. So maybe that's what you're hearing this morning, that this Jesus needs to be your Jesus and you need to experience his freedom. Paul said to Timothy, this is the message God gave to the world at just the right time. Well, I wonder at uh, this time, just like Nikki said to us yesterday, what are we hearing God saying to us? As we listen to his word, as we listen to others speak and preach his word, however it comes across to us. And nowadays there are so many ways and so many opportunities. In one sense, we have no excuse. <laughs> God has come to us. We may not go to church, but God has come to us. Paul would never have imagined through something like Zoom or YouTube, people are discovering Jesus and following Jesus. And because of that, they want to live peaceful lives and godly lives. And therefore, they're praying for their kings and leaders. So on this Friday morning, as we think of the advice that dear old Paul gave to young Timothy, What's your response? We're going to pause and pray together. As I pray the words, may you echo them, may you say them for yourself and together in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you came. Holy Spirit, would you help us now to hear what you're saying to each one of us and respond with all that we are and all that we have. For our kings and leaders, we do indeed pray for them. We ask for wisdom. For our government in Westminster and at Holyrood. We pray you would give to the leaders, the cabinets, the advisors your wisdom in these difficult, uncertain times. That as a nation and as a world, we may live in peace, especially as God's people with all godliness and dignity. Forgive us if we have not been thankful for them. And for ourselves, many of us, we're doing our best to keep close to Jesus, but it's hard. The road is rough and steep. We ask that we would hear his voice just a bit clearer and we would follow him a bit nearer. And for some of us, we really sense that you're calling us to step out and follow him for the first time. We want to believe, but we have our questions and doubts. We want to trust, but we're unsure. So, Father, would you just give us that nudge, that word, that encouragement and help us as we do step out? We pray for those around the world who today are beginning a new life in Christ Jesus. Father, as we step into this Friday, as we go into this weekend, go before us, go with us, bless all our loved ones we ask. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Isn't God good? <laughs> 